Literacy refers to the ability to read, write, interpret, and understand written text and spoken language in various contexts. In the first part of this video, I'm going to focus on how it applies to reading and writing, but then I will shift focus to how literacy is also measured in speaking and listening. Literacy encompasses not only the basic skills of reading and writing, but also the capacity to comprehend, analyze, and communicate effectively through written language. Literacy is a crucial skill that empowers individuals to access information, express themselves, participate in society, and engage in lifelong learning. There are different levels and types of literacy, and I want to cover a few of those here so you can have some basic terminology to start thinking deeply about your own writing and reading literacies. Many of these also apply to speaking and listening. First, we have basic literacy, the fundamental ability to read and write simple sentences. It is often considered the starting point for more advanced literacy skills. Functional literacy, the ability to use reading and writing skills in everyday life situations. This includes tasks such as reading signs, um, filling out forms, and writing emails. Critical literacy. Beyond the mechanics of reading and writing, this involves analyzing text, recognizing biases, questioning assumptions, and understanding how texts are constructed to convey meaning and influence, influence opinions. An example would be analyzing news articles. Critical literacy involves examining news articles from different sources to identify bias. Um, not only that, but evaluate evidence and understand the underlying messages. For example, criti critically literate individuals might compare news coverage of the same event from different news outlets to understand how language and perspective can shape the narrative. Another example would be examining gender roles in literature. In a critical literacy context, examining gender, gender, gender roles in literature involves analyzing how characters and their roles reinforce or change societal norms. For instance, critically literate readers might question why certain characters are portrayed in specific ways based on their gender and how these portrayals influence our perceptions of gender dynamics and expectations. Digital literacy, the ability to use digital technologies effectively to access, evaluate, and create digital information. It includes skills related to online research, media literacy, and communication on digital platforms. Media literacy, the ability, the ability to critically analyze and evaluate media messages, including understanding the techniques used in various forms of media to shape perceptions and opinions. An example would be identifying fake news. Media literacy involves the, abil the ability to distinguish between reliable news sources and misleading or fake news. For instance, a media literate individual might critically evaluate the credibility of an online news, news article by checking the sources, cross-referencing information, and looking for signs of bias or misinformation. Another example would be deconstructing advertisements. So media literacy also encompasses understanding how advertisements work to influence consumers. A media literate person might analyze a TV commercial or an online advertisement to understand persuasive techniques, target audience, and the ways in which visual and textual elements are used to convey messages and create an impact. Information literacy, the ability to locate, evaluate, and effectively use information from various sources, whether print or digital, to solve problems and make informed decisions. Cultural literacy, understanding and being familiar with the cultural references, symbols, and concepts that are significant within a popular society or group. One example would be recognizing cultural symbols. Cultural literacy involves recognizing and understanding cultural symbols and references. For example, being familiar with common religious symbols, national flags, and iconic images from different cultures helps individuals better understand and appreciate the cultural significance behind these symbols. Another example would be understanding cultural traditions. Cultural literacy also includes understanding cultural traditions and practice and practices. For instance, knowing the customs associ associated with holidays such as Diwali, Chinese New Year, or Thanksgiving can foster cultural sensitivity and facilitate meaningful interactions with people from diverse backgrounds. Visual literacy, the ability to interpret, interpret, analyze, and create visual images and symbols. It involves understanding the ways visual elements convey meaning. 
An example would be interpreting artwork. Visual literacy involves the ability to interpret and understand visual art. For example, someone with visual literacy might analyze a painting to identify the use of color, composition, and symbolism, and then interpret the emotions or messages conveyed by the artist through these elements. Another example would be analyzing infographics. Visual literacy extends to interpreting data, present, data presented in visual formats like infographics. A visually literate individual can examine an infographic, understand the data it presents, and evaluate the effectiveness of the visual design in conveying information clearly and persuasively. Numeracy. While not strictly literacy, numeracy is the ability to understand and use numbers effectively, which is crucial for interpreti interpreting, interpreting quantitative information. An example would be budgeting and financial planning. Numeracy literacy involves the ability to work with numbers effectively in practical situations. For instance, creating a monthly budget requires numeracy skills to calculate income, expenses, savings, and allocate funds to different categories. Another example would be interpreting statistics. Numeracy literacy also includes interpreting and understanding statistical information. For example, someone with numeracy literacy can analyze polling data during an election to understand trends, margins of error, and the significance of different percentages reported in the data. While many of these deal with literacy as we understand it within written and reading forms, let's quickly consider speaking and listening as forms of literacy. Conversational fluency, the ability to engage in casual conversation, exchange greetings, share opinions, and maintain social interactions smoothly. Public speaking, skillfully addressing larger audiences in formal settings, such as presentations, speeches, lectures, and seminars. Articulation and pronunciation, clear enunciation of words and proper pronunciation to ensure that speech is easily understandable. I keep messing up in this video, so maybe I can grow in that area a little bit. <laughs> Tone and inflection, using vari variations, there you go, see? Variations in tone, pitch, and inflection to convey emotions, attitudes, and meaning in speech. Storytelling. Narrating anecdotes, stories, or experiences in an engaging and compelling manner. Debating and persuasion. Presenting arguments and viewpoints logically and convincingly during debates or persuasive discussions. Interviewing skills. Effectively conducting interviews, asking relevant questions, and eliciting in, um, insightful responses from interviewees. Negotiation and diplomacy. Skillfully navigating conversations to reach agreements, resolve conflicts, and maintain positive relationships. Multilingual proficiency. Competently speaking and switching between multiple languages, considering linguistic and cultural nuances. Emotional intelligence. Using vocal cues, pauses, and emphatic expressions to convey emotions and connect with others. Humor and wit, employing humor and wit appropriately to engage and entertain listeners. Impromptu speaking, delivering coherent structured speeches or responses without prior preparation. Instruction and training, clearly explaining concepts, procedures, or instructions in an educational or training context. Digital communications, conveying ideas effectively through online platforms, videos, podcasts, and virtual presentations, I like this one. Motivational speaking, inspiring and motivating audiences through speeches that encourage positive change or personal growth. Cross-cultural communication, adapting speaking style and content to communicate effectively with individuals from diverse cultural backgrounds. Active listening and responding, engaging in dialogues where active listening is combined with thoughtful and relevant responses. Rhetorical techniques, skillfully using rhetorical devices like metaphors, analogies, and repetition to enhance the impact of speech. Did any of these forms of literacy stick out to you? Perhaps you recognized yourself as really strong in, in a few of these areas, or maybe you saw areas in which you'd like to grow. Remember, this wasn't a consolidated list. There are many types of literacy. Literacy is not only about decoding words on a page, but also about comprehending and critically engaging with written and spoken material. It plays a vital role in education, personal development, and societal participation, enabling individuals to communicate their thoughts, share knowledge, and participate actively in a literate and information-rich world.